More than 14,000 people in the United States are waiting for a life-saving liver transplant, some in the end stage of liver disease. Abraham Aviv is no longer one of them. I know. I feel like it's me, back again to normal. The liver is one of the few organs that a living person can donate to someone whose time is running out. One in five people expire while on that list. That's, that's 20 percent of people dying on that list. Nico Velasquez, the boyfriend of Aviv's daughter, did not like those odds. So he decided to get tested when he learned family members didn't match for a transplant. I was like, OK, time's running out. Enough's enough. We, we got to do this. And they're like, you're a match. That was unbelievable. I just couldn't believe, you know, my dad is going to have a new liver and be healthy again. Dr. Chun Hook Kwan says a new surgical procedure at the Cleveland Clinic called laparoscopic liver resection makes it safer and easier for living donors like Nico. With this method, surgeons are able to perform the operation using much smaller tools and a camera. We put a uh, half inch size, about five holes, and we did the whole procedure through those small little incisions. To take the organ out, we put a uh, maybe five inch uh, incision or less right above the, uh, the pelvic area. Donors experience less pain, fewer complications, and quicker recovery than with a traditional open procedure. And a donor and recipient's liver both immediately begin to heal following the surgery. The portion of the liver donated, in this case 33 percent, regenerates back to full size quickly, often in less than eight weeks. I felt like I didn't even have surgery about two, two weeks later. It's amazing. Dr. Kwan's goal is to expand the Cleveland Clinic's program and increase the availability of this technology. While large medical centers in Asia perform the procedure, the Cleveland Clinic is only the second medical center in the U.S. to offer it. And Dr. Kwan is one of a handful of surgeons in the world who can use this technique. He and Nico hope it helps encourage others to consider being living donors. Mm -hmm. Bronwyn Benito, VOA News.